Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tiger Schooling. In this session of the video, we are actually going to talk about the sex differences of the pelvis of female and males. So we'll be understanding the whole topic and the differences by using this diagram or this picture in front of me. So remember the sex differences of bony pelvis are actually easily recognized. The more obvious differences result from the adaptation of the female pelvis for childbearing. And the stronger muscles in the male are actually responsible for the thicker bones and more prominent bone markings. Now let's talk about the differences between the sex differences of the pelvis of the female and the male. So the remember the false pelvis. This is the false pelvis on the superior side and down there we have got the um, uh, true pelvis. So remember the false pelvis is shallow in the female this is shallow I cannot show you in the 3d diagram but if I show you in the 3d diagram you will know that the female pelvis uh, the uh, false female pelvis is uh, you know shallow and the male is uh, uh, false pelvis is deeper the second point you have to remember is the pelvic inlet is transversely oval in the female but heart shaped in the male because of the indentation produced by the promontory of sacrum in the males. The third point you got to remember is the pelvic cavity. So the pelvic cavity is roomier in the female, got more room in it than in the male. And the distance between the inlet and the outlet is much deeper. You can see right over here. The fourth point you got to remember is the pelvic outlet is larger in, what you think? Probably it's female because the female has to give to a birth to a child. That's why so the pelvic outlet is larger in the female than in the male and in the female the ischial tuberosities you can see right over there are actually inverted and in the male they are turned in. You can see right over here they are turned in and the female they are inverted outside or on the other hand. The fourth point is that sac the fifth point is the sacrum is shorter. The sacrum is shorter, wider and flatter in the female compared to the male. And the last point which I have to remember, you have to remember very, very much, which is I'm going to emphasize on it. Now that's it, the subpubic angle. This is your subpubic angle. This is your pubic arc as well. So the subpubic angle or pubic arc is actually have to be or is more rounded and wider in the female than in the ma male so it means the female uh, pubic arc has to be ha has to have a more angle compared to the female and <clears throat> this is regarding the uh, sex differences of the pelvis and the differences between male pelvis and the female pelvis and uh, that's it regarding today's lecture we'll be coming up with the next lecture please make sure to subscribe to our channel and keep visiting Tiges is calling.